Artificial intelligence used to be science fiction. Now it's science fact. Digital watchdog AI-powered analytics are here. In the other YouTube videos you've seen in this series, you've seen how to use our digital watchdog AI-powered analytics. Today, Joe Kale, sales engineer out of the Midwest, is going to join us and show you all how to set up Digital Watchdog's powerful AI-powered analytics on this episode of Digital Watchdog's Rapid Review. <music> Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We are here. We have a guest host. This is Scott Capaletti with Rapid Review. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Joseph Kale. Joe, say hi to the world. Hello, everyone. Hey, Scott. How's it going, man? Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate it. Welcome to the world of Rapid Review, Joe. So Joe's going to set up his screen right now. And what we're going to do is show you, again, not how to use it. We've showed you that in other videos. Today, you're going to see from day one, from moment one, how simple and quick and easy it is to set this up. So Joe's going to take you through that process. I'm going to give Joe the full screen right now. And here we grow. Joe Kale, Rapid Review is in your hands. Hey, so today I want to go over how we set up a AI system when it comes to our Blackjack AI servers and how we start detecting objects with the cameras that you have installed. So today we're going to be looking at this one out of Tampa, Florida. So in this, in this situation, we have this one camera here and we know we want to start detecting these cars, people, you know, all the great things to try to minimize that risk. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to go to our DW AI server configuration tool that is on our Blackjack AI servers and Blackjack AI appliances. Once we launch that configuration tool, we're going to get connected here. And first thing you'll see is this AI that is highlighted in orange. Now, if I expand my server list, don't freak out. So right now we have no cameras, nothing is showing in the list. When we uncheck this AI, what that means is that there are cameras that are using a license, an AI license from this system. So here we're going to select our camera that we just recently had up, and we're going to give it or assign a license to it now. Now we have two different options, deep learning object tracking or deep learning people tracking. So when it comes to deep learning object tracking, we're looking for things like cars, trucks, vans, bicycles, motorcycles, people, right? Now, that's all of our exterior. If you do have interior, maybe we're looking for forklifts, okay? So that's where you would utilize the deep learning object tracking. If you're going to do anything interior of a building, so let's say gymnasiums, hallways, you know, any of those types of scenarios or lobbies, then we want deep learning people tracking. But obviously this camera is pointed outside the exterior of our building down in Tampa, Florida. We're going to keep this at deep learning object tracking. Now, one thing to point out is immediately you see in the right hand corner, the resolution 640 by 480 and the frames. 6.9 frames. Well, when you see that triangle, we need to make some additional adjustments. So right now I'm going to go and click apply and we're going to give this camera a license. Okay. We're using a license at this point. Now, when I switch back over to this camera, I'm going to right click, go into my camera settings and I'm going to click advanced. When I'm in here, we're going to click on secondary and we can see that 640 by 480 is our maximum resolution for this camera. Now you can take the resolution up to 704 by 40 is really the max on most systems. But if you go anything higher, just know you are going to utilize more RAM when it comes to your server. So we're going to leave this at 640 by 480. Next, we're going to change our frames. Now 10 frames is the minimum. 15 is the max. So when it comes down to interior of a building, 10 frames is more than perfect for that. Or if you want to, you can do 12. Because obviously you have people running down halls, gymnasiums, things are being thrown around, basketball, stuff like that, right? So what we want to do is 10 frames, 15 max. 
exterior of a building, 15 is where we want to be because we're getting vehicle travel, right? We're getting bicycles, motorcycles, things at a high rate of speed that is going down the road. Once we do that and we hit apply, go ahead and click OK. Then we'll come back and we'll review this. So what you need to do is give a little bit of time. Actually, it didn't take that much, but you can see now we're at that range of 15 frames. So once you have that set, now your camera is starting to detect those objects. So we're finding those trucks, those people, those individuals at the correct frame count. So that would be the proper way to set a system up to get going and start doing that detection. I can't believe how easy it is, Joe, because I remember back in the day when we came out with our IVA, Intelligent Video Analytics, I mean, it would take about a half hour per camera to set it up, and you had to do the view. It was, it was all these little things you had to do to calibrate it. There's no calibration, Joe? No, there's no calibration when it comes to setting up a blackjack AI. It's just, it's just that easy. You know what? I, I know I'm, I'm that cheesy salesperson, but built for users is a registered trademark of Digital Watchdog. I mean, he, here it is in action. We're at we're at le, uh, six minutes and 21 seconds, and you're done with setting up that one camera. Yep. That's awesome. Quick. Joe, can't thank you enough. I love this. We should certainly do it again. If, uh, if you join me one more time, that'll be fantastic. But thank you so much, Joe. I'm going to get us out of here. Why don't you say goodbye to everybody? See you, everyone. Awesome. Thank you, Joe Kale, for joining us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know the drill. You want more information? Go to digital-watchdog.com. There's tons of information there. And if you want to get a hold of your sales engineer, you can find that information there. Of course, we are here on YouTube. So check out Rapid Review Series and all the other series that we have on our Digital Watchdog YouTube presence. Like and subscribe. It goes a long way. And you can email us at rapidreview at digital-watchdog.com. Until next time, his name is Joe Kale. My name is Scott Capaletti, and this has been your digital watchdog rapid review.